Hello everyone! In this video we're going to talk about PUPs, a type of malware program. We're going to learn what they are, how you got them, and how you can get rid of them. Let's begin! What is a PUP? You probably already know that malware is bad for your computer. However, there's this new type called PUP which might have you confused. Well, First of all, PUP stands for Potentially Unwanted Program. They can also be referred to as adware or crapware, but security companies refer to them as PUPs for legal reasons. How do you get PUPs? A PUP comes bundled with other software and disguises itself as something inconsequential, like maybe a new toolbar for your browser. What's the difference between malware and a PUP? Although both malware and PUPs inject themselves onto your computer, malware does this without your consent, whereas a PUP will be disguised as a checkbox or hidden in a terms of service or end user license agreement, which you blindly accept while installing software. And because of that, it's technically legal. They did ask for your consent and you gave it even if you didn't know what you were doing. In fact, security companies can't call these programs malware, otherwise they could risk getting a lawsuit against them. This is why McAfee, a well-known online security company, coined the new term potentially unwanted programs. What does a PUP do? A PUP can run advertisements on your browser or computer, change your browser settings without your permission, force you to use a certain search engine, and even offer you new features that you never wanted and are probably unnecessary. Why should I remove a PUP? Even if a PUP does nothing noticeable to your computer, it can still slow it down, it can clutter up your system, or they can even track your data. So why would you want to keep it? Just remove it. How do I remove a PUP? If you have Windows, the PUP will have an entry in the software program section of your computer. You can access it using Control Panel. Find it there and uninstall it. Easy as pie. If you're unable to find it by yourself, you can use an anti-malware program like Malwarefox to scan your computer. It can detect and remove PUPs from the roots. In fact, after the scan, you might be surprised to find out that there were way more infections than you originally thought. However, in some cases, anti-malware programs will mark tools you've downloaded as PUPs. So be sure to read the name of the program and do some research online to figure out what it does before you remove it. Alright, that was everything you need to know about PUPs. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.